Welcome to 60 Second Civics, the daily podcast of the Center for Civic Education. I'm Mark Gage. Women's suffrage had its roots in 19th century organizations to abolish slavery and curtail alcohol abuse. These were called temperance societies, such as the Women's Christian Temperance Union, which was founded in Illinois in 1873. In these organizations, women learned the arts of political organizing, pamphleteering, speaking, and demonstrating. The liquor industry strongly opposed women's suffrage because they rightly suspected that women would vote for prohibition. While participating in such efforts, women learned firsthand about gender discrimination, which helped galvanize early leaders to press the case for women's rights. In the 1830s, for example, women's anti-slavery associations were opposed in Massachusetts because men believed women should not speak publicly on the issue. Similarly, in 1840, Lucretia Mott and Elizabeth Cady Stanton were banned from participating in the World Anti-Slavery Convention in London on account of their gender. They were eventually allowed to attend and listen to the proceedings, separated from the male delegates by a curtained wall. That's all for today's podcast, 60 Second Civics, where civic education only takes a minute.